everyone, it's Reagan, and welcome to the start of another reading vlog featuring. Where's my Monica? Hello. <laughs> so it is currently Friday. It's literally the you know, I just ended my work week vlog and I've just gone right into a weekend reading vlog. So basically just vlogging my whole life now, every day at all times, um, which I'm not mad about because I really like making them. So this weekend is a fun weekend. Not only is Monica staying with me Friday night, tomorrow is actually Clay's and I's anniversary. So we have some fun things planned for tomorrow, like lunch, a fancy lunch, because we couldn't get a dinner reservation there. We're going to like a steakhouse and then we're going to the movies and stuff. But I also hope to read a lot because as I think I've mentioned, I did not read very much in November, only three books. So I'm hoping to really pick up my reading pace for the month of December. I'm currently in the middle of a book I really like that I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna jump right into a book I really also think I'm gonna like. So without further ado, let's chat about the books I plan to read. So these are my reading plans. So first and foremost, Ninth House. So I'm 200 pages in to this book by Lee Bardugo. I started it over this past work week. I'm really liking it. Dark fantasy set on a Yale campus where people are like practicing magic and like weird secret societies. It's really entertaining. There's like a murder, there's mystery. I'm very intrigued so far. It's definitely super dark um, and a little disorienting in the beginning, but I've really fallen head first into this and I'm going to finish it. And then from there, I think I'm gonna pick up Star Sight, which just came in the mail. I'm so excited about this. This is, of course, it's a sequel to, um, oh man, what's the, Skyward, literally on the cover. It's a sequel to Skyward, everyone, which I read last December, actually, and loved so, so much. So I'm really excited to see where the story takes off. I'm hoping, well, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be incredible. Brandon Sanderson has never disappointed me in my entire life. So I'm expecting great things. And so I'm hoping I fly through this as well. And I'm just, you know, reading all the sci-fi fantasy this weekend, but what is new? So this is what I plan to read. Matilda is really interested as well. Monica's happy I'm reading Ninth House. So here we are, Christmas tree, things are happening. I made a latte in my Book People TM mug. I picked it up when I was in Austin last and I'm obsessed with it. It's so hearty. It's like one of those classic diner mugs. So, yay coffee at 7 p.m. I guess I'll never sleep ever again. We got Thai food and Clay's on his way home and then we're gonna start a Christmas movie. But in the meantime, we're gonna watch Chrissy Teigen. Love her. On, um, what's it called? Netflix? Well, no, oh. no, no, the show. <laughs> it's the new food show. Oh, breakfast. Lunch and dinner. There you go. Thanks. Look who's home now, and we're all watching a Christmas movie. We finished the Christmas movie and then just hung out for a little while longer, but now it's late. Um, so I retreated to the bedroom with Matilda, and I'm now going to read. Clay's here too. Hi, Clay. Such a ham. But I'm now gonna read um, some Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, and Clay, if you're curious what he's doing, brought the Xbox into the bedroom so he could play Madden. <laughs> now, I'm just, I'm gonna try to get a decent chunk of this before I ultimately get too tired and fall asleep, but I'm hopefully trying to finish this by tomorrow. We'll see if that happens, but definitely through this weekend and then I'm gonna start Star Sight, but just wanted to say hi. We ended up watching Arthur, Arthur Christmas, and it was really cute. It was like an animated movie. It was really funny in kind of a way that usually Christmas movies aren't, so I appreciated that. It's like a fresh, a fresh take. Anyway, I'm going to read now and I'll check in as I get further along, but I just wanted to give you guys an update of evening. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm here with that cup of coffee I just made. Latte, actually. And I actually woke up early this morning because I want to film two videos. So today is Clay's and I's anniversary and we have some stuff, fun stuff planned in the afternoon, but I wanted to film um, before, you know, going out and about in the city today. But as I was like collecting things to wear, I realized Black Friday just happened and I have some really cute things to show off. Um, and I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a little Black Friday uh, haul of items I have picked up recently that I'm really excited about. And a lot of them are kind of festive too, so they'd be, in my opinion, perfect for the holiday season. But before I dive into the actual clothing part of this haul, I actually have a glasses haul for you guys. As you guys know, I am a Glasses USA ambassador. I've worked with them all year. They are my favorite glasses company. All of my glasses I own are 
from Glasses USA. They're an amazing site, and if you guys aren't familiar, they're basically an online glasses retailer, and they have thousands upon thousands of different frames. They have incredibly affordable options. They have more high-end premium options. So basically, whatever you're looking for, they definitely have. They also have so many unique and curated collections, one of which I'm gonna show off a few frames from one of my personal favorites today. But they also have really great services online that allow you to try on the glasses digitally. You basically upload a selfie, and you can like put any frame on your face to see what it looks like before you buy it and they also always have amazing coupons and sales and deals especially going into the holiday season they're truly a really great site amazing customer service and I'm not kidding they have a frame for everyone they have so many options to choose from and I have been getting my glasses for them exclusively for years but today I have a really exciting collection of glasses to show off they're all from the Hillary Duff collection, which I am a Hillary Duff fan girl. And it's not just because, she, uh, you know, Lizzie McGuire is coming back, but like I've always loved Lizzie McGuire my whole life and I've always loved Hillary Duff. So she has this really amazing glasses line on Glasses USA and they're all so, so, so cute. So I picked out four frames, three glasses, one pair of sunglasses to show off. And honestly, they're so great. They're great all year, but I also think they're pretty cute for the holiday season as well. So. Without further ado, let's dive in. So the first frame I have for you guys is the Hilary Duff Grace frame. They are a kind of pink clear square frame with a lighter tortoiseshell on the side. I love the Hilary Duff range for a lot of reasons. One, they're really high quality, but I also love her range of tortoise options. I know that sounds very particular, but I'm very fair skinned, so I love tortoiseshell a lot, but having a lighter tortoise option is great personally for my complexion but i love these this is a classic frame i obviously love a clear glasses so i definitely think these will be added into the rotation really heavily they're really lightweight but ugh, sturdy but yeah love 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 these and can't wait to wear them all the time they're just so good next is the hillary duff lily and these are a more retro style cat eye style glasses also in that kind of lighter pink tortoise color so again really flattering for me personally on my skin tone these i feel like are just a really modern interpretation of a really classic retro frame they are fun and really kind of a unique style option but they're super wearable still and the color is just amazing these do come in other shades as well but i honestly think they're like perfectly oversized they don't seem too big and they're just so much fun. The last glasses pair I picked up from the Hilary Duff collection is the Sonia frame, and these are in a gold wire frame. I think these are so cool. I obviously love a circle wire frame glasses, but I just think these are such a unique new interpretation. They're kind of like triangularly shaped. I don't know. I just have no glasses like this at all, and I think they're so cool. Um, I also love the gold color. They go with pretty much everything I own in my entire life, and I just think they're just a unique reinterpretation of a really classic style of glasses. And I also just love the size and shape and I just think they're so wearable and perfect for the fall, winter, summer, spring, all the seasons basically. But yeah, huge fan of these and I just love the shape. I think they're so fun. And the very last pair of prescription glasses I have to show off are actually a pair of sunglasses and they are the Hilary Duff Alice Frame. These are just a classic square style sunglasses but they do have some really cool unique details that I think make them stand out. The light uh, pink details on the inside and there's also this really cool patterning on the side that kind of goes into the front of the frame So while these are like really classic will go with everything They also have kind of unique personality Which I just feel like makes them special and kind of perfectly fits within the Hilary Duff collection overall Because I feel like all of her frames have like a like are classic but have like their own oomph to them at the same time So big fan of these as well I always need protection from the sun. It's too bright outside. <laughs> Alrighty, so those are all of the glasses I picked up this month. Again, all from the Hilary Duff collection. One of my favorite collections of glasses on the site, so definitely check them out. I'll have links to all the glasses down below, as well as a really cool special offer for you guys as well for all of your shopping needs. Big shout out again to Glasses USA. I love working with them consistently. I love being an ambassador, so it's always special for me to be able to do one of these hauls. Um, but yeah, so those are all of the glasses. I love them. I'm gonna wear these, I think, for the rest of this haul now, because I just think they're so fun, and it goes so nicely with my sweater. Moving into the second part of the haul, which is clothing items. So Black Friday was recently, which means I did do a bit of shopping. Uh, I really try to keep it like specific, if that makes sense. I actually have a lot of holiday parties to go to this year. My own personal work one, Clay's, some like, I have like the book of the month one. Like I just have 
all of a sudden holiday events and I'm not usually a really big fancy dresser so I, I try to pick up some items that can transition like casually but also to holiday parties as well anyway now I'm just rambling but let's actually start with the sweater I'm wearing this is from J Crew, and I love it it's just like a really bright and fun green fair isle sweater i'm wearing it to film a video after this um i got it on sale j crew has the wildest sales you can get things this for 50 percent off for example really big fan it comes in a bright red as well i'll leave it down below but i just think it's really cute and fun for the festive season but i also feel like it's definitely wearable post December because it is one solid color. So I grabbed this and the second thing I picked up from J. Crew from that 50% off sale I was wearing last night and it's this fuzzy wuzzy um, Pullover <laughs> it just looked really warm. I really like it. It's so soft uh, It's in this bright green color and it has blue detailing which I also thought was just pretty unique I wanted something like this. that wasn't neutral uh, and I definitely found it at J. Crew. And again, 50% off, so I couldn't say no. This is just super cozy. It will be great for like hiking and wearing around the house, you know, all of those activities. So I grabbed this softest thing I own. I also grabbed a few things from Anthropology, mostly for holiday party stuff, but the first thing I did pick up was this sweater because I am in love and it was on sale. It's this Fair Isle sweater. I love a Fair Isle sweater, but I thought this one was fun because it was bright pink. Yeah, this was, I think, 70% off, so good deal. And I've already worn it in a video, I think, so I just love this guy so much. And I picked up two items that I thought could work really well for holiday parties. The first one I also got on sale, and it's this just velvet, teal, evergreen colored midi skirt. I thought this was like a black turtleneck. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, could all of a sudden be very like appropriate for a work setting but i also thought with like a t-shirt this could be cool too so it's like easy to dress up and down and for 40 bucks i think i got this i thought it was a good deal and versatile for this holiday season the last thing i picked up from anthropology um is also for my personal work holiday party and it's this fun sequin top this i feel like is very over the top but can be so easily paired with jeans that I thought it's like obviously dressy and festive, but I also feel like it's very wearable because it's a top versus a whole dress. And I mean, it's so pretty. It's like this coppery sequined material. I don't know. I just usually don't buy sequin things, but this really caught my eye and my attention. And the very last thing I'm gonna show off is from Madewell, similarly festive, and it's this sweater, but it has like this like metallic threading throughout it, which I thought made it unique and like an easy New Year's Eve cozy option as well. And obviously I could just wear this every day because it's a sweater, but I also think like it could easily become, you know, appropriate for a variety of different scenarios I might find myself in. So love this as well. So that is the end of my haul. I've now procrastinated enough this morning. I'm now gonna go do some filming, but I hope you enjoyed this little mini segment within this video. And yeah, I'm gonna cut back to the vlog. I have to go film right now, so I'm gonna go do that. The worst assistant in the entire world, but I finished filming. So I'm now gonna edit for a little while, clean up this the book aftermath of filming, and uh, get the video uploaded today, because I wanted to get one video uploaded this morning before we went out for our anniversary lunch. <laughs> I still think it's funny we're going out for a lunch, but hey, it's kind of nice so we can take a nap after all that steak and get ready for Knives Out tonight, so yeah. So I wanted to check in because I have finished editing and, oh, it's so bright today. I finished editing and I also uploaded my video, so that's amazing. We have to leave for the restaurant in about an hour in 20 minutes approximately. Um, I wanted to check in and let you guys know how much I ended up reading last night. So I read about 60 pages before falling asleep and I am just loving this book. <laughs> the mystery is definitely becoming more and more apparent. I also am like falling in love with our main characters, which I'm really happy about because going into this, I knew it was like a dark academia book. So I didn't know if the main characters were gonna be likable or not, which it's fine either way, but I also love that I love them is basically what I'm trying to say. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to read this morning before we leave for the lunch, the lunch, our lunch. Um, but I need to figure out what I'm wearing and I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna put up my Happy Christmas banner we picked up from Etsy, which is so cute. So I've been waiting for Clay to come home to be able to help me because he's taller than me. Um, so we're gonna do that and then uh, just hang out and then leave. We only have like an hour. It's not like we have like oodles of time. But then when we come back, 
I'm going to, we're going to go to, I think we're going to try to go to a Christmas tree stand um, near our house uh, to pick up a wreath. And then I think we're just going to relax before the movie we're seeing later tonight, which is Knives Out. So it's going to be a fun day and a relaxing day and a festive day. So all my favorite things combined together. Uh, but yeah, lunch should be really good. We haven't gone to like a steakhouse in a long time. This is a really famous steakhouse. We're going to Peter Luger's in New York City, which is notorious. It also notoriously got a zero rating from the New Yorker or the New York Times or something recently, but I don't think it's hurt the rest. It's hard to get a reservation there. I, we, I booked this for us like two months ago or something. So anyway, we're excited. I think we're gonna get steak and try their famous cheeseburger and then nap forever. Um, but I just wanted to check and let you know how much I read. Uh, and now we're gonna put up our banner and stuff. So, you know, I'll show you when it's complete. I love it. It's from Etsy. So I'll have it linked below. It's just like paper cut out. I probably could have done it myself, but I'll be honest, I'm not the craftiest person in the world. I wanted the one from Pottery Barn, but it sold out, and this is like almost an exact dupe. I love how it looks with a Christmas tree. Uh, Millie's a big fan too. She was super helpful when we were putting it up. <laughs> I love it. Hi everyone. We're about to head out to Peter Luger's for lunch, but I wanted to show you my very festive fit. So I'm just wearing this green, it's like a really nice emerald green sweater from Cezanne some jeans that are very stretchy, some boots, some red lipstick, hey, and some like cute moon and star earrings. So we're on our way, I'll bring you along. We're headed out now. Matilda is sad she can't come. She loves steak. <laughs> She's so drama. Hi New York City, looking nice today. Very sunny, a little chilly, we can ignore that. We made it. The reservation was actually for next week, but they're really nice and they sat us anyway. <laughs> we over-ordered. Delicious. I'd say we uh, did a lot of damage and we're to ourselves, but we're ordering dessert, so don't worry. We're still fine. Dun, 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 dun. Finishing it off with this glorious masterpiece. Clay's even gramming it, for that matter. Oh yes, anniversary Sunday. We are back from our lunch and I did a quick change because we're gonna go buy a Christmas tree wreath from the Christmas tree stand and I wanna have a cute fit, get a quick pick, and also get a wreath, which is what I'm most excited about. We're gonna put it on our front door and then our Christmas decorations will be complete. So we're gonna head out now before the sun goes down. All the Christmas trees are out. This is like my favorite thing about Christmas in New York City, you just can buy a Christmas tree on the street, or crossing the street, street trees. to get a wreath. <laughs> Merry Christmas! We just got home with our giant wreath. It was kind of expensive, but now that I've realized how big it is, I'm a little less mad at the price tag. But it's so cute. Now I think we're officially all decorated for the holidays. Um, Millie also, we got Matilda a little treat. She got a little reindeer toy. Very excited about it. Isn't that right, Matilda? And now we're just gonna relax for about an hour before we're gonna head out to see Knives Out, the movie. Lunch was super good. Um, and our errands were super fun. <laughs> Sorry, she's just making me laugh. She's just going wild. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and then sit down and do some reading. It's coat season, everyone. It's chilly out there. Gotta stay warm. Okay, bye, Millie. Have fun. So, I won't play it because copyright, <laughs> but Made a Parade re uh, came out with a Christmas song and it's a reunion of their full band, which you might not know this about me, but Made a Parade was like the band of my life for a good couple years when I was growing up. I still love them deeply. But anyway, we're gonna listen to this and then we do have to head to the movie soon, but we might as well uh, jam out. Isn't that right, Clay? That's right. Really likes jam out too. She is obsessed with her new toy and she's trying to think of everything in her power to rip its head off. <laughs> oh my god, Clay. <laughs> All right, we're off to go see Knives Out. We're not hungry, so I'm actually not eating my normal meal of chicken fingers at the Animal Draft House. I changed back into comfies, A. Um, but we are gonna get popcorn and maybe milkshakes. <laughs> More ice cream, but we gotta go because we don't wanna be late. I'm so excited for this movie. This is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. So, should be a good time. Bye. We're home. 
We just got back from seeing Knives Out, and obviously because it's a whodunit style movie, we'll be very vague in our thoughts and feelings. But, Clay, how do you feel about the movie? It was good. Worst James Bond movie I've ever seen. <laughs> We both really, really liked it. It was really great. Um, great acting, great characterization. Uh, just like, I don't know, it was just really well done to its style. It's like fresh, but also like very true to the genre. So big thumbs up, go see it if you haven't. Big fan over here. Back from the movie, but still watching things. Matilda loves her new toy. But season three of The Marvelous Miss Maisel was dropped on Friday, so obviously we're watching this because this is one of the best shows on TV, if I do say so myself. Clay, what do you say about it? I say so as well. It's amazing. All right, time to watch. Hi friends, so we watched some episodes of Marvel's Miss Maisel and now I'm going to read Ninth House. I am pretty sleepy, but I'm gonna try to read as much as I can and obviously finish the rest tomorrow. Um, so I'm not gonna spend too much time chatting now so I can get all of my reading in. I'm hoping to read it in the morning. We really don't have much planned tomorrow. We had a really fun day today. I loved having lunch, going to the movies, watching Miss Maisel with Clay. There's Clay. Um, and now he's playing Madden and I'm gonna read. What would an end to a day? Um, but tomorrow we're just gonna shoot some Instagrams. I don't have to film or anything, which is nice. So I, we don't have like too, too much planned. So I think we're just gonna chill and hang out, which means lots of reading for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get to reading right now before I fall asleep, as I said. So toodaloo, I'll check in as I get through more pages. Hello, good morning. I have the uh, fireplace <laughs> thing on from Netflix and Matilda and I are on the couch hanging out. I'm about to sit down and do some serious reading. I read about 30 pages last night before I fell asleep, so I've read 100 total pages. Um, and I'm not counting any commute pages because I vlogged my work week last week, so. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm gonna do some serious reading this morning. I'm gonna read for a good like two hours straight and just kind of relax. I don't have any like pressing things I need to do, which is great. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna put on Casey Musgrave's Christmas album really set the mood um, for a jolly holly morning. Uh, but obviously copyright is a thing, so I wanted to <laughs> check, clue you guys in on my uh, antics before I put that on. Um, and then I'll do a reading montage where I'll obviously have no sound on, because copyright. Anyway, so I wanna say hi, good morning. Love Casey Musgraves, love this fireplace thing. It's almost like having a real one. <laughs> Just kidding, but it's cozy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get to reading. I really am trying to finish Ninth House um, bef like by this afternoon, and then I'm gonna switch over to Star Sight, which I'm really excited about. But anyway, hi. Coffee is brewed, and I have the Casey Musgraves Christmas album on standby, which I just paused so I could film this clip. It's fun because it's kind of like a variety show. I still need to like visually watch it, but to listen to it is also very fun. I have read 100 pages of my book this morning. Hello, Clayton. And Clay just picked us up coffee and pastries from our favorite pastry place, croissants, which are my favorite. And also these like cinnamon roll things. They're so good. So don't mind me, just gonna eat a bunch of carbs. Hi everyone, so I have gotten dressed. Football is on, which I will turn down now because I have a quick update for you guys. We've just been sitting here watching TV, but prior to fall starting today, I actually read a huge chunk of Ninth House and I'm almost done. And I can officially say with almost certainty that I love this book. I mean, it's combining so many elements of stories I like. Are these like merging of timelines where like past, present, piecing together little bits of mystery to kind of like slowly get this whole picture of what's going on. We have endearing main characters that also have a complicated past. That means they're kind of murky and not perfect, but still rootable. We have an intriguing setting of Yale and all these like terrible, pretentious, stuck up, rich, privileged people doing terrible things. And we're trying to navigate that culture and figure out what the heck is going on because a girl has died and we don't know why. Ugh. And on top of it all, great writing. 
exceptional. And the, and the magic is really interesting too, because it's like subtle magic, it's there, but it's not like easily achieved. No one's like waving a magic wand, like everything is very ritual based, which I think just fits the dark society setting so well. Regardless though, I read a chunk and I'm almost done and I'm really liking it. So I definitely plan to finish this sap. But first, uh, Clay and I are going to take some photos and pick up some lunch. I think we're gonna get salads because we wanna have pizza for dinner. So we figured let's weigh that salad out, rather the pizza out with some salad. <laughs> um, but I plan to come back and just read and relax, but just wanna get a few more things done. I also plan to edit today, but I can't stop thinking about Ninth House, so I need to finish it. Priority number one. But just wanted to say, I got dressed, proud of myself on this Sunday and let you know that I read a huge chunk over 100 pages. I don't have much left of Ninth House and then I'm gonna jump immediately into Star Sight, which I cannot wait. So it's gonna be great, great. Gucci, <laughs> anyone seen eighth grade? Anyway, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Another quick outfit change. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick photo from H&M. If you're curious, I think it's sold out, but I'll try to find it and link it below. I got it for under $30 on Black Friday. But anyway, we're gonna run out, grab our lunches, and then come home and veg for the rest of the day. Not leaving my couch ever again. <laughs> Took our pics, now we're going to go pick up our salads. Also, this is my favorite flower shop. If you were ever curious where I buy my flowers from. If anyone was wondering, Matilda has not stopped playing with her Santa reindeer toy since she acquired it yesterday. She's still devising how to destroy it. She will report back on her success by end of day. <laughs> we had some leftover steak from our anniversary dinner yesterday, so naturally we heated it up and cut it in small pieces so Matilda could have some too. <laughs> Putting the doggy in the doggy bag. <laughs> Editing a work week vlog, watching football, and Matilda learned how to skateboard. So rad. Wow, Millie. Ooh, so cool. <laughs> I know. She's almost so intimidating. I don't know if she wish she'd hang out with us anymore. Finish editing my vlog, so I'm gonna finish ninth house right now. Watch hopefully the Patriots lose and then start Star Sight. And then also watch more Miss Maisel later tonight. Hi everyone, Matilda's barking at me. <laughs> but I wanted to check in because um I finished my book, which is what I'm checking for. I'm about to take a shower and we're gonna order a pizza, which I'm so excited about. I ate a salad. So I'm clearly looking forward to this pizza. Um, but regardless, Ninth House is what I particularly wanted to talk about because I loved this book so much and I immediately checked Twitter to see if this is going to be a series and great news, Lee Bardugo said at least five. I just feel like this could turn into like an amazing mystery serialized fiction. Our main character, Alex, is like handling the occult and keeping jerks from taking advantage of the occult, and I'm here for it. I loved it, and there's still so many questions I need answered, but the important thing here is that Alex, the main character I love, the setting incredible, mystery great, combining storylines, just like, and then seeing Alex like grow, I just love it all. I really loved how this book was set up, and the mystery of it was so, so, so good, and the writing was great. I'll say like, definitely an adult novel, trigger warning for assault, violent um like this is by no means a ya book so know that going into it um additionally it's definitely a book that is a little disorienting in the beginning but like once you get your bearings it's great and i just love the writing and i loved how like it was just masterful i just really really liked it a lot so honestly 4.5 maybe 5 out of 5 stars i'm gonna sit with it for a bit um Ugh, it was so good. And now I'm gonna jump into Star Sight tonight. Woo! I read, uh, I guess only like just under 300 pages, which is definitely less than I would have thought. This book took me longer to read. Like, I was reading it slower. Normally I can read about like 70 to 80 to sometimes 100 pages an hour. I was definitely reading like 50 or 60 pages an hour, so it just inherently took longer. Um, but I still think I can definitely get a good chunk of Star Sight read tonight, a couple hundred pages, and then finish it going into next week. But that also means December 8th, I've read two books, which is way better than last month when I only completed three books for the entirety of the month. So happy I am like on track to have, you know, more books read for the end of the year because I'm trying to at least read 60 books. So that is my goal, and I feel like I might be able to accomplish it with 
you know, just focus and dedication. So we're gonna get there. Um, but now I'm gonna hop in the shower and then order some za because I'm hungry. And I think we're gonna make some cookies later. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we picked up some confetti cookies, like sprinkle cookies, and they're in our fridge. So they're just asking to be baked. But anyway, I'm gonna check in um, once I start Star Sight. The za arrived, and honestly, I could not be more excited. <laughs> I haven't had pizza in like a couple of weeks. It's been too long, pizza. Gonna, just can't wait. We got our za, and now we're gonna watch the newest episode of The Mandalorian because Matilda is a big Baby Yoda fan. Long lost relative, we think. So she always gets excited to see him. Hello, Matilda. We finished The Mandalorian and now we're watching Sunday Night Football, but mostly it's just a front because I'm gonna start reading Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson and I'm super excited about it. So I'll check back in once I get a little further along, but I am pumped. <laughs> We've switched over a course to Miss Maisel. I have read about 50 pages of my book. Matilda is back to being a present underneath the tree. And I think I'm gonna start some cookies, Clay. How many cookies would you like? Two. All right, BRB. These are huge, but yeah, throw on these in the oven. Yum, yum, they're so cute. I love a Funfetti anything and everything. Hi friends, so happy to say I've read another 50 pages of Starside, so I am on page 100 and to say that this book immediately jumps in the action is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> um, it's funny because I honestly forgot quite a bit, but I also feel like the beginning of this book is really good at like not so obviously summarizing it, but like definitely summarizing it for you to be like, oh yeah, here's the character names, here's what was going on in the last book, here's this, here's that, and I'm like, ah. God bless you, Brandon Sanderson, because I didn't realize how much I forgot, but it was incredibly helpful. So I immediately felt anchored in the story, which was great. And I'm just, you know, immediately reminded how much I love Brandon Sanderson's plots and stories because, ugh, I'm bored and captivated. So I'm going to keep reading. I want to try to get to like 150, 160, maybe page 200 tonight. That would be great um, for tomorrow, but I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to check in in a bit once I've read more to give you like more comprehensive thoughts, but I'm just trying to read as much as I can. Gotta keep the momentum strong. I still can't believe I finished Ninth House. Like, I guess it's not that surprising given that I spent a lot of time reading it, but ugh, it was so good. <laughs> I really, really liked it. But okay, going back to Star Sight, we'll chat soon. Hi everyone, it's Reagan and welcome to the end of the vlog the next day. So I just wanted to quickly pop in and do the wrap up of everything I read this past weekend. It was a really lovely weekend. I really enjoyed everything I read, which obviously is the real true goal. Like page count matters, but my real goal in life is to like the books I'm reading. But anyway, to start, I first completed Ninth House. This is the book I was carrying over from my work week, which if you've seen that vlog, you would know. But I read the last like 280, 290 pages of this. I think I miscounted where I was when I started the vlog, to be honest. But I loved this book so much. Definitely like a five out of five star read for me. And I can't wait for the adaptation of the show and more books in the series. But it's just like, honestly, everything I wanted it to be. So that was great. And then from there, I read 135 pages of Star Side by Brandon Sanderson and making my way through and hopefully we'll be able to get a good chunk of the way through this book through my work week. We'll see because I have a really busy work week this week, but I'm loving it. Honestly, I fell right into the story right away. I feel like Brandon Sanderson always does a really great job of recapping previous books without being like too obvious and boring about it. So I quickly understood all the characters and the plot dynamics of the last book without even needing to read a summary, which was amazing. And it also just made like falling into the story so great <laughs> and I wasn't disoriented at all. Uh, so far I am liking it. Um, I'm kind of waiting for the plot to heat up a bit but obviously I'm only 135 pages of the way in so like clearly we need a little bit more time and I wouldn't expect to be in the midst of anything quite yet but kind of the I don't want to use the word magic but sci-fi-ness um, that was introduced in the last book is just super super intriguing some of the technology and leans almost magical love it all so yay i'm really happy that i got to both of these books in the last month of the year i will be finishing star sight hopefully uh by the end of the week or if not into the next weekend before i sign off per usual i'll have everything linked in this video down below including all of my glasses from my glasses usa haul so be sure to check those out which includes a special offer for you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you soon with another video soon goodbye